Hey guys, so today we're playing with more new luxury makeup. I cannot believe how fast and furious these releases are coming out. I feel like I just did this video, probably earlier this week. Anyway, I have not a full face, but I have plenty of stuff to fill up this video with, like the Givenchy Prism Libre highlighter that they've come out with Holiday. I hauled this for you guys. It is a really, really bright highlighter. So I'm excited to use this, even though that's not really my fall mood, but for holiday, I think it's really appropriate. I did also purchase the Byredo Metal Boots in the Snow. Um, this is their uh, eyeshadow quench, and I purchased this off of Nordstrom. Um, so we'll have that to play with. And then Sisley was so sweet in sending me some of their new releases. Now I knew they were coming out with that uh, foundation that I did a wear test for, which is lovely, um, but I didn't realize they were actually expanding their Fito Twist line. So we have a new Fito Blush Twist. This is in the shade number seven, Berry. So this is one of their stick blushes, so cannot wait to try that. And then they've also come out with three of their new Le Fito Lip Twist in uh, number 24, 25, and 26. Let me put these in order. So this is perfect for the holidays. I feel like I'm gonna end up with a little bit of a holiday look today. And then as you guys know, Clé de Peau came out with their Radiant Fluid Foundation Natural. I purchased the shade O20, and they sent me shade O30. So I'm definitely gonna be trying that today. They did also send me their sponge. I didn't realize Clé de Peau had a sponge. So I went ahead and wet it. It actually didn't really change shape. It's a very firm sponge with a lot of bounce to it. And I was surprised that it didn't grow at all. It really just kind of stayed the same. So anyway, this is it wet. And it actually comes, of course, so clay to post style, comes with a little stand that you can put your <laughs> sponge on. It has a little hole at the bottom. So anyway, I'll be using that. And then Aether Beauty has come out with a new mascara. It's called Big Bang, we'll be using that. And then I also have the Tom Ford Brow Sculptor with Refill. This is not new, it's new to me. So gonna try that as well. Um, I'm gonna start with the Clay de Peau Foundation. And let's do a little comparison quickly between shades O20 and O30 in this Radiant Fluid Foundation Natural. So um, when I first used the O20, I did think maybe it was a little bit too uh, pale for me, but it's, it's working now because I have lost quite a bit of a tan since the summertime. But here is O20, and let's check out O30. I'm really excited because in the bottle, the O30 doesn't look that much deeper, but it actually looks more neutral, which usually works out for my skin better. It is a little bit deeper and a little bit more neutral. See how the O20 looks like it's got like a like a peachy warm tone to it and the O30 looks a little bit less than that. It does look deeper though. All right let's try it. Let's see what happens. All right let me make sure I have the right one. Okay O30. I'm gonna pump some more out here and I'm gonna use a sponge. I don't usually use sponges. I'm usually a foundation brush kind of gal, but I'm gonna give this a shot and let's see how the shade works. And I'm realizing I'm using the sponge like a, like a brush. <laughs> I'm brushing it on. Yes, I think this O30 is actually a better shade match because of the tone. Even though it's a little bit deeper, I feel like the tone just works better. You know, it being more neutral versus warm. Okay, so there it is applied to this half of my face. I love it. Oh, I'm so glad they sent over O30. Thank you so much, Clay de Peau. This is definitely my shade match for this foundation. I am definitely O20 in some of their other foundations, but yeah, in this one, I th I'm gonna say I'm an O30. And the name of it is Medium Ochre, just FYI. Let me just pump out one more pump and finish up the rest of my face. Okay, there is the Clay de Peau O30 all over my face. Oh, I'm loving it, I am loving it. I do love this foundation, but I'm loving it even more in this new shade. I'm so not used to using a sponge. I feel like I need to go over it with a brush. Hang on. <laughs> Got my Clay de Peau foundation brush. All right, I'm not going to powder or anything. I'm just gonna go straight in with this cream blush. So again, this is the new Sisley 
Lafito Blush Twist, and this is their new shade, number seven, Berry. So I'm gonna use my Sonia G Mini Base Brush. This is part of her Fusion Set that is meant to um, be used with cream products, and I'm just brushing it over this Berry shade, and just gonna drag some over my cheekbone here. Pounce a little. Pounce and drag, pounce and drag. <laughs> Ooh, such a pretty like raspberry tone. This is such a good holiday blush color, I feel like. And the finish of this blush, for a cream blush, it really doesn't have much shine to it, which is um, really great, I think, for fall, winter. I think I mentioned it in my seasonal switch up video. I really kind of toned down on the shimmer and the glitter and all of that for my face products uh, for the fall winter because I like something that's just a little bit more toned down. I kind of do a heavier eye um, and this is perfect and this tone is perfect. There's something about the sh this shade, this berry shade that is so holidays. It kind of reminds me of like poinsettias and cranberries and like mulled wine and, and all of that stuff. All right, so there is the new Sisley Lafito Blush Twist in number seven on my cheeks. I am now gonna hop over to Givenchy and their new Prism Libre Highlighter for holiday. Uh, does this have a shade? It's number 10 Organza Ore. Comes in this beautiful package with the mirrored top. It has two different shades in here. It's like a pink and like a champagne gold. So I'm mixing the two powders together and yeah, the shine is really crazy. Oh, it's like super wet. I'm gonna try and grab a little bit more of the pink versus the gold because the gold is pretty uh, warm and I think it may be too deep for my skin tone. So I'm gonna use more of the pink than the gold if I can. <laughs> It's hard to uh, differentiate between the two powders in here. And I'm just gonna tap some on. Wow. Hello. That is a really high shine highlighter. If that's what you're into, definitely give this one a shot. I purchased this off of Saks, but now I feel like I see it available on Sephora and everything. Anyway, I'll link everything down below in my description box. I'm just trying to get some more out here. I'm taking my Sonia G Face One brush and kind of buffing it in. I feel like if I stick my brush in here, I'm just gonna pick up way too much product, which is why I'm using my finger. Oh, you really do not need a lot of this powder. That is just like a little, little fingertip full. That is wet and so smooth looking. Ooh, all right. I feel like just to even things out, I should bring some down my nose a little bit here. All right, now for eyebrows. This is not a new product, it's new to me. This is a Tom Ford Brow Sculptor with Refill. Now, you guys know how much I love the Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel, but it seems to be sold out everywhere. Now, I feel like they've done this to us once before where there were rumors it was gonna be discontinued. I shared that on my channel. I bought a bunch of backups and then people restocked. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it is being discontinued. I don't know if it's uh, just out of stock temporarily. I don't know what's going on. So anyway, I thought I would try a different Tom Ford brow product since I love the fiber brow gel so much, um, but this is a completely different product. It's a pencil. So we'll see, I did purchase it in the shade Espresso and oh, it comes with a refill. I thought I had to put this one in, but there's actually one in here already. Okay. So I have an extra refill, and this is one of those pencils that is long and thin. It's not like a like a micro brow pencil. So let's see what these strokes look like. The crayon is very very stiff, which is good. It's a which is good. The lines I'm getting are very very faint. I'm just gonna go in and fill in my sparse brows here. And the other side is a spoolie. Nice, really easy to use. I like that it's very thin. I find that sometimes um, eyebrow pencils that come in this shape, uh, they're like, they're a little bit thicker. So I really like the shape of this pencil. Nice, okay, that was very easy to use. I am gonna go in with my Persona Swipe Up Brow Gel and see if I can get these brow hairs to, I don't know, Look more alive. <laughs> All right, full brows. Let's move on to the Byredo Quint. 
I'm so excited for this. This is the Metal Boots in the Snow. So this is by Rado's release for the, um, I guess, winter, the snowy season. And I'm a huge fan of these Byredo eyeshadows. Not only is the packaging just incredible, this looks like a mollusk of some sort, <laughs> an oyster, I think. But look at these colors. Oh my God. So, so beautiful, so wintry. I love how cool and like light and dark the shades are in here. I mean, is this shade not screaming me or what? Mm. So here are swatches of all five shadows. The first one is Freemus, Strap, Boucle, Ground Frost, and then Ver Vergla or Verglas. That um, Ground Frost color, this one right here, has like a little bit of a duochrome shift to it. These two are satin shades. This one is, as you saw, a crazy like glitter shade. Um, this one is a satin as well. So there are no mattes in here. That's my point. It took me a long time to get there, but that is my point. There are no mattes in here. So I'm gonna go in with this shade at the end right here. I'm going to use my number one brush from Refer and sweep that across my, wow. Silvery goodness. I have to wear this the next time I go to Pilates because I use the Tin Man as a description of how I feel a lot of the times. You know the scene in Wizard of Oz when he needs the oil can for his joints? <laughs> when I'm feeling really stiff, which is most of the time, um, I tell my Pilates teacher I feel like the Tin Man and she just giggles. So I should wear this eyeshadow next time. Next, I'm gonna go into that duochrome green shade. I'm just gonna use the same brush. I'm gonna flip it over to the other side. And I'm just going to add a little bit to the edge of that silver shade, not all the way to my outer corner yet. This shade feels a little bit hard to pick up on the brush. I'm gonna go in with my finger, because when I swatched, I had an okay time picking up the shade. I'm just gonna use my finger to apply. Oh yeah, that is better. Interesting. Yeah, the finger was much more effective for that shade. And I'm just gonna tilt my head in very strange ways in hopes that the light catches this duochrome, which kind of goes from like a bright sagey green to like an olive brownish green. It's really cool. I'm gonna try this deeper green over here, the one that is like a olive brownish green. I'm gonna try a different brush. I'm gonna try this uh, Chantecai Eye Definer brush. It's synthetic haired, just to see. That shade is deep. And the shadow looks even to me when I apply it, but then, I don't know, I feel like I catch different angles of my eyeshadow and I always look like I have a deep spot here but I think that's just this little my little flap of skin that's just giving way to gravity slowly but surely yeah I think these shadows are just a little bit harder pressed than the other shadows that I have from Byredo they're yeah they're just a little bit more difficult to pick up I feel like I'm kind of grinding my brush in there I am getting the product eventually but it's just not as soft and creamy as the other ones. So this one definitely is a little bit different. All right, now I'm gonna go in with this <laughs> silver glitter shade. So I'm going to tap a little right in the center. Give me that highlighted look. Very glitzy, very sequiny. So there it is with the glitter and without. Just a really nice touch. And definitely getting fallout though. <laughs> okay, I'm picking some up on a tiny brush and seeing if I can just place it right the inner corner there. Wow, such like winter wonderland vibes. Um, let me go into this blue shade in the center and use that to line my eyes. Wow, I love that blue. It's so pretty. I will say I'm not a fan of this glitter shadow. I feel like some of the glitter is like falling into my eye. Not my favorite. I don't think anyone's favorite. All right, so that is it for the Byredo metal boots in the snow. 
palette. I really love it. The glitter, probably not one I'm going to use too much, mainly because I do feel like it's uh, falling into my eyes a little bit, but those four other shades, so, so beautiful and so wintry. I love it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and tight line my eyes. I've got the Wayne Goss Essential Eye Cold Pencil here in blue sapphire, which is a lovely, lovely match to the blue in the palette. All right, let me go ahead and curl my eyelashes and I'll be back to apply Aether Beauty's new Big Bang Mascara. All right, here is the Big Bang Mascara. It is made with 100% recycled ocean plastic and a biodegradable wand. Wow, that is awesome. So here is the packaging. It's got this really pretty pearly sheen to it. Natural style bristle brush. All right. There it is applied. It makes my lashes definitely look longer. Oh, pretty. And it's keeping its curl, which is really impressive. All right, and finally, I've got those three new Lafito Lip Twists. Yeah, Lip Twists. Well, let me show you all the shades first. So we have 24, 25, and 26. Here are swatches of them. So 24 is all the way on the left then 25 and then 26 is on the right. And man, that 26 color is like the perfect holiday color. Um, so let me end with that one. I'm gonna start with shade number 24. This is the lightest, most nude color. This is beautiful. And I love, love, love these Fido lip twists. I'm a sucker for like anything in a crayon form. And then this formula is so beautiful. Ooh, this is such a pretty color. It's like a slightly cool toned nude. They're a little bit more pink in there than peach. Ooh, it's really pretty. And if you guys have not tried this formula, it is lovely. There's like, a, there's definitely, it, they're very creamy, very moisturizing, all of that, but there's like, um, I don't know, like almost like a glossiness to them. So pretty. Okay, that is number 24. Let me remove this and then we'll, Continue on. The silver glitter fallout is kind of crazy. It's all over, <laughs> it's all over my cheek here and then I have some on my lip here. Wow, well, glitter, it's a commitment, right? Let me put on number 25. Ooh, you know, on my lips, it is a lot less warm toned. This is almost like there's like pink in there. I guess I didn't notice it in the swatch. This is definitely a very like reddish pink color. All right, so, so far all of these are on the cooler side. All right, and here is 26. Oh, what a fun festive color. I feel like this one is more neutral than the other two colors. Oh, I love it, wow. Okay, so those are the three new Lafito Lip Twist from Sicily. Mm, perfect, perfect for the holidays. All right guys, here is my final look playing with all this new makeup. So far, I am really enjoying everything except for that glitter. <laughs> <laughs> because I feel like I see more and more fallout as the minutes pass. Um, but I really like this mascara. This mascara is definitely growing on me. The eyeshadow palette is gorgeous. The new products from Sisley. This blush is so pretty. The lip colors are so pretty. Ooh, I love it. And this color in the Clay de Peau Foundation 030 is the match. This is the match for me. And um, medium ochre is just not how I would describe my skin tone, but sometimes you just gotta try it out. All right, well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.